Good day. Drive into there. Oh, yeah. Ione and Steve Cooner have been happily married for 42 years. Here's to you. But in 2013, they got some shattering news. She was diagnosed at 57. And the diagnosis was? Early onset Alzheimer's. It was devastating for both of us. You go puppy girl. For the past six years, Steve has watched Ione gradually lose her grasp on much of daily life. So I mean, this I love the way you did this. But to his amazement, he has also seen her gain something entirely unexpected. Tell me about this one first. Ione has started painting. It's very intense colors. You like intense colors. Yes. Something the former dental assistant had never even thought about doing before her illness. Once I finish one, I want to start another one. <laughs> and then finish that and start, you know, another one. This almost seems to be an obsession. It is her new occupation. Yeah, Neurologist did. Bruce Miller directs the UCSF Memory and Aging Center in San Francisco. He's uncovered an unexpected and remarkable connection between savants and dementia patients, who, like I own, suddenly exhibit new talents. So they would have trouble communicating, but they could pick up a paintbrush and yes. paint? Yes. Some of the most beautiful art I've ever seen has come out of my patients with degenerative diseases. And over here is um, painting by Jack. Dr. Miller's office is a small gallery of his patients' artwork. And this is somebody also who had never painted before. <laughs> had never even stepped into an art museum. In his research, Dr. Miller compared brain scans of dementia patients with those of a child savant. We are seeing the same pattern of loss of function on the left side of the brain, uh, increased function in the right posterior parts of the brain, the parts that allow us to take uh, something visual in our mind and put it on a canvas. His conclusion, in these rare dementia patients, so-called acquired savants, the disease that destroys some brain areas activates others, unlocking hidden talent. Wow. Yes, yes. <laughs> it's, it's fairly exciting stuff. It, it very much has humanized my uh, patients for me. Faced with an uncertain future, Ione seems to find solace in her art, and her paintings are still full of life. Fifteen years ago, do you think you could have done this? No, no. Does the brain ever cease to amaze you? Never, never, <laughs> never.